Hey gamers, it's Winter Mute here from Grind This Game, back with Oxygen Not Included. And since the last episode, I did some stuff off camera, and I'll just kind of briefly go over that. I kind of set up some empty rooms here that I'm going to expand into. Uh, extended this uh, insulated tile here. Uh, but the major thing I did was down here in the ice biome, I built out my standard Oxygen Generation set. So I'll just kind of review this quickly. Uh, let's just see. There's an electrolyzer. We're feeding water from up in the hot water geyser over here. So that's coming in at about 50 degrees. Uh, then we got two pumps just so we're saturate this thing. Otherwise, if you just have one pump, it's not enough. Two is still not enough. It still gets overpressurized once in a while. So here's the gas overlay. So it's sucking up the air. It's filtering out pure hydrogen and sending that down here. And some's going to the hydrogen generator, some's going to this vent, which was filling this room with hydrogen, just to keep this area cool. And then the third one is going off to the actual nullifier, just to keep everything nice and cool. So this is 37 degrees. Now I usually use metal tile here because it conducts the heat really well, or coolness, which keeps everything nice and cold. So the oxygen coming out of here is at nine, minus 16. And with this setup, I found that it pretty much stays cold uh, forever for hundreds of cycles if not thousand they've changed the units of heat so we can see heat production is minus 80,000 DTUs and if we compare that to what the pumps generating for instance let's just see here if I can click on it uh, the pump is giving off it doesn't show it here let's just see if we when we build one whether we can see it uh, actually, maybe it doesn't give off any heat what about the electrolyzer it, give, it gives off about 1,200 DTUs. And the cold generator, 9,000. Hydrogen, 4,000. So this thing is able to keep everything cool plus the surrounding area. The power, I use the 2 kilowatt wire. It's all kind of on one circuit here. And we're using maximum 1.4. So I might duplicate this system. I don't think I have enough water to actually do it, but uh, I don't think we have quite enough oxygen going to the base now. Let's just see. Oxygen in the base is not super great. And that's probably because I have all these empty spaces that don't have any dupes in them yet. So I'll probably double up that uh, oxygen generation. I do have my algae deoxidizer still here with some automation saying if the pressure falls below 800, kick on. I might actually change that. Because we do have some spare algae. Not a whole lot. 6.5 tons. And there's another one up here, which is set to 800. So those will kick on if the pressure drops too low. Oh, one other thing I did was you tried to use up this polluted water here. To... If we can follow it along. I built a pipe down here to some pinch of pepper nut. Just to use up the water. Now I'll probably just tear all that down because I don't need it anymore. But I thought I might replace my pinch of pepper nut up here where it's nice and warm. 46 degrees along here. Might build it in here and then use the polluted water that's going to come out of some showers. Because I'm going to put some showers in here, I think. And there's a new uh, morale bonus for showers that they added. So they give, uh, I think it's plus three. So... I wonder if I'll do that first. I also have a CO2 problem. <laughs> it's starting to reach the level of the bedrooms. It's just actually really bad. So I might... Uh, hmm. I should probably change the settings on these algae deoxidizers just to keep the pressure in the base up. Let's set that to 1500 for now. And I do want to put a CO2 scrubber in. But I thought I'd play around with some of this new kit. So we got this uh, gas reservoir. It takes 400 metal and it holds 150 kilograms of gas. So I thought about building one of those. What's the decor like on that? Uh, minus 10, not too bad. So I might just put one of these in and suck all the CO2 up and stick it in the tank for now. Let's put it here so we can fit multiple of them. And where should I grab the CO2 from? I might grab it from this kind of central place. Yeah, let's do that. 
So, regular old pump. Stick it right here, I guess. Is that a good place? There's no ventilation there. Uh, hmm. Maybe I'll stick it right here. Actually, I should probably stick it lower. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, gas pump right here. Could probably use even more ventilation here. Let's do it there. You can always move it around. And I'm just going to use granite. It doesn't really matter. So the input is there. We'll just send everything in there. But we'll use a sensor. So automation. I'll use a gaseous element sensor. So I'll detect CO2. Maybe right kind of up here. Or down a bit. So if there's CO2 here. Maybe here. We will send it into the tank. Let's see if that works. Now we need to power all that. So... Let's do power there, power there. And I probably need a higher priority on that stuff so they get it done. I've never used this gas tank yet, so that should be interesting. Buried object discovered. What do we get? Oh, it's already gone. Speed things up. We actually have some stress building. And that's because uh, our great hall, this used to be a great hall. If we look under vitals, we can see all the morale. You can see morale is not high enough for some of these dupes. Oh, I added some new dupes, by the way. Welcome, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this name, but welcome. And we got bear. Stinky, I never changed, so Stinky's gonna stay stinky. And we're up to 10 dupes now. So this has all the things that it needs for a great haul, but it's not, for some reason, it's not a great haul anymore. So great haul needs a recreation building, which we got the water cooler. Unless they change the water cooler. But I think it's a bug. I'm not quite sure. So that's why I was going to build showers, because we'll get a little bit more morale, more, more morale out, of, out of that. I was thinking of putting them right here. But we're going to need a door to make that a room. Stick that there. And let's do some morale boosting buildings. And then a shower. So one little trick I learned through experimentation was to put a lavatory inside the shower room and then it automatically becomes a bathroom. So they get a bonus when they're, when they're showering. This rock granulator for now, I'm gonna take it out. We can move it somewhere else. And I need some water from this water area here. So I'm going to put my pipe back in there. I'm going to do abyss light so it stays nice and warm. And then we'll go input here. And then the polluted water I'll take back out this way. And we'll use it for pinch pepper nut. Probably need to bring it quite a bit over to the left here because we got to get up to a certain temperature here. Did they build a tank yet? Oh, there, we got a tank. Okay, let's set this to carbon dioxide. And I'm actually gonna dig some of this out. I don't even know why I have this here anymore. I should probably just dig all this out. Now I do have a floor here that's three high instead of four. Actually, I have a couple. Just kind of messing things up a little bit, but I think it'll be okay. Igneous rock. No, I don't want igneous rock. Let's put in a floor here. That's the wrong height. Let's do granite. I want to get a lot done in this episode. Maybe there's a... I think there was a hatch in here. That's why I have all this in here. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized I don't want this, <laughs> I don't want this opened up. I need a wall here because I don't want dupes going to the right because that way they'll get on their suits and they'll be able to go over here, which I really don't want. I don't want a loop. So I'll just do airflow down the center, I guess. Put 
airflow here, here, here. Now in the future I might go and fix this and make it four high, but I think three high is gonna be fine. Not a big deal. So we're detecting CO2 and we're sending it into the tank. How much do we have in there? What? 95 kilograms? Okay, wait a minute. That seems like a lot already. That really cleared the uh, cleared the air pretty fast. Okay. Wow, that thing filled up really fast. <laughs> now I don't know if, like, let's say we cut off the pump and then we had an output, whether that output would just naturally come out or whether it needs to be hooked up to a pump or not. Okay, we got major oxygen problems here. Uh, actually, here's a bit of an issue. I need to get rid of this floor. Maybe I should have put the pump over here. Hmm. We could put a pump over there as well. Just to pull that CO2 out. But the problem is more the oxygen pressure, not the CO2. Uh, we'll see. This I can see the CO2 is gradually moving over here, but probably not fast enough. This thing is going to fill up already, I think. That didn't take very long. 150 kilograms. Hmm. Full. Okay. We need a CO2 scrubber. <laughs> Big time. Okay, where should I build that? Let's just think about this here. Uh... Could put it kind of centralized. I need water, fresh water to be able to do that. So I'll have to bring some water down from here. Uh, let's do that. I don't need water going in here anymore, but I can just branch off. Now I think I'm gonna run out of water. I think I'm using too much. Let's cross over here. Send that down. Where do I want my scrubber? I probably want to filter as well so we can have like an infinite loop going. Uh, maybe I'll put it in this area here. Yeah, something like that. So let's just do this. Carbon skimmer right here. These things get pretty hot. So I can unpause. Water in. And then pollute water out. And we'll stick that in a... A sieve. But we we need a place for all the dirt to go from the sieve. I don't plan very well, as you can probably tell. I do spend about 10 or 15 minutes kind of planning out the episode and what I'm going to do, but... Then when I actually get into it, it kind of all changes, depending on how things are going. Okay, that water's going to come down. Let's build a bridge out of abyssalite, across that. And I'm going to use a bridge here just to force the water flow. I like to put bridges once in a while. So we got that. Don't need that power anymore. Empty pipe. Oh yeah, we don't have the we don't have the water going anywhere. Okay, how warm is this here? 44 degrees. Oh, I didn't let them in here. Gotta allow them in so they can build that pipe. Priority nine. Oh no, now they're going to fry. I should have only let one dupe in there. I think they'll be able to build it pretty quickly though. There, get out of there. No more dupes allowed. Okay, let's see how what temperature these need to be. 35 and up. And let's get rid of these while they're... Uh, actually... It's not really harming anything right now. I'll leave that there. 
35 degrees, so it's 41 here. This coal is kind of in the way. We could go down one. Uh, it's nice and toasty in here. Maybe I'll go down inside here. Build a... Where did that water come from? What the... Oh no, I cut the pipe. I had, uh... <laughs> okay. That was a boo-boo. Okay, I had the de destroy all instead of destroy. I wish it would default to buildings. I've said that in the past, but okay. Let's put that pipe back. That was a minor emergency. Okay, now we're going to take a ladder down here. Like this. And I could build my hydroponics on this floor, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go up. Or down one. So these have to be upside down. Let's so build a few there. 36 degrees. Hmm. Should be warm enough. These need three... Three tiles of clearance. And then we'll build a floor here. Starvation? I doubt it. Not with 600,000 calories. Okay, this will be pinch pepper nut. Which we have no seeds. Really? It's not even letting us put it in. This happened to me once before. One, two... I think it has... <laughs> Entombed! Okay, now they're all stuck in that little hole. Look at that. Get out of there. <laughs> okay, maybe this needs to be four high? I don't know why I can't plant this. Maybe just because there's no liquid... Seeds. Uh, pinch pepper seed. I have no pinch pepper seeds. Okay. Where do they all go? <laughs> Let's take this out. And let's send this pipe, this polluted water pipe, down and across. Let's bridge across here and then go this way. Now I'm planting pinch of pepper nut for a couple of reasons. One, to use my shower shower water. And two, because we need it for pepper bread, which I'm making here. And pepper bread's got, it's the best food. It's got plus five. Plus five, superb. So they get a really good bonus from that. Let's see if we can see anyone who's eaten that. Uh, no one's, no one's eaten the good food recently, but it's quite a bonus. Let's kill this pipe, we don't need it. And is the shower actually working? No, because there's nowhere there's nowhere for it to go. Oh, when I took on more dupes I did a split shift again, so we have three shifts now. Four, three, and three. I should probably leave that open so you can see it. So it's just everything is offset by two. And I might actually give them more downtime because that will make them slightly happier at the cost of them not doing any work. Okay, now can we plant it? There we go. those settings 
and finish this floor off. Hopefully they don't get entombed. There they go. I'll do a low priority dig here. And we'll just extend that across. And we'll try to find a dupe that has had a shower. I, I could probably put a second one in. Uh, let's put a door at the end so we get our room bonus. Put that right here. And let's do statues. Keep the decor super high. Let's just do this because they're going to be running here a lot. And I'm going to put a lavatory. I won't hook it up, but I'll stick it here. That way this will make this a latrine and whenever they use the shower, I think they'll get a bathroom bonus. Oh, I don't have enough pressure in here. Okay, that's a problem. Let's do some airflow. Made a mess. What the heck? Did I mess up my pipes? In, out. That should be... Oh, actually, I shouldn't have hooked that up. Hmm. But it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, yeah, it's trying to go two ways. Uh, okay. Um... <laughs> Got to get rid of this bridge right here. Mop up that nasty mess. Priority nine, priority eight, maybe. Contents empty. Whoa. Oh no, we've messed up our whole system. Uh, all the water is out of this. <laughs> I gotta re reinvigorate it. Okay, what the heck was I doing here? That's going down there. Uh, <laughs> hmm. It's all going backwards now. Oh, I gotta take this all apart and then put it all back together again. Hmm. Maybe instead of going to this, I'll just send it to the plants instead. Probably don't have enough water for that, though. Uh, let's just take this bridge out, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> That should fix it temporarily, I think. Okay, water in. I gotta put this bridge back. We're gonna have some more messes, I think, I predict. Okay, water in. That should reseed the system. Okay, there we go. Come on, fill it up before they go to the bathroom on the ground. Downtime. Okay, laboratories are ready. That's good. Got to keep an eye on that because that will back up right here in no time. Clean water out. Overflow. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta do this in a coordinated fashion here. Now that we have a little bit of water in the system, <laughs> we'll put the bridge back. But we'll have to wait for daytime so they actually do something. Because they're on their break right now. Bathroom plumbing emergencies. Okay. We gotta... Take out a bridge and put in a bridge kind of at the same time here. That goes there. Oh, that's going to go backwards. Oh, I should have done a separate line here. 
Oh, we're all backing up. What a nightmare. Okay, priority in there. And that's going to steal all the water. I need a separate line. I think we're just going to have to make a mess here. Actually, maybe I can empty pipe. I think I have a plumber now. So we'll empty this pipe. And we'll cut that pipe off. Do I have a plumber? Yeah, we have plumbers. Okay. Priority nine, empty. Someone please, empty. Okay, that's empty. Cut that off. Okay, water in, that should be good now. Excess goes down. I think that's good now. <laughs> yeah, that should be good. Okay. And do we have our room bonus here? Remove conflict building. Hmm. Toilet. Oh, I think it needs a sink. As well, maybe? Washroom, flush toilet, and wash station. Okay, maybe we need a sink as well. Let's do that. I'm not gonna hook it up, but we're just gonna stick it in there. Sure, my washrooms are still working, yep. And let's put a few more showers in. I didn't want the whole episode to be about showers, so. But I do want to get this going. Maybe I should have put my pipe along there. Whatever, let's just do it here. Oh, this might be messed up here. <laughs> uh, in there, that way, that should be okay. And irrigation. Yeah, they're not getting enough polluted water. That's okay. They will once they go on their shower break. Okay, input. I don't think I hooked that one up. Right there. Did anyone build that pipe? What is happening here? I thought I... Oh, they haven't built it yet. Okay, someone build it. Oh, now they're on break. Okay, CO2 is less of a problem now. I never hooked my skimmer up. How much power do we have on this line? 1.6 kilowatts. That's because of this thing, which I'm not really using. Uh, but we're going to want to make more exosuits. But we really got to get rid of that carbon dioxide. So let's just hook up that power and hope we don't fry the circuit. This pump we can disable because it's not doing anything. And select carbon dioxide. Okay, that should start running. And bringing all that CO2 out. Oxygen looks okay at the moment. Showers are working. Oh yeah, look at them, they love it. Okay, let's catch one of them. Low morale. Oh. Okay, who just had a shower? Morale 20. Okay, here we go. Showered, plus 3. Gorgeous decor, plus 12. Nice. 
So that's working. That's probably going to use up all our nice water, though. Now that could back up, but that's okay. We'll just stop showering for a while. <laughs> we need some airflow in here. Maybe I'll put some statues in there too, because they go they have to go in there once in a while. Okay, and let's put a few more. Actually we'll see. We'll see how these grow. See if they back up. If they back up, we'll add some more. Based on the average showering time. Now I finished all the research last episode, or actually after the episode. So I tore down the research buildings. Actually, there's two pieces of research we didn't do, which is the astronaut and the astronaut in training. But we can't even build the observatory yet. This thing down, where is it? Stations. Research telescope. This thing requires glass and oxygen and needs to be on the surface and a whole bunch of stuff. We're not, not even close to being able to do that. And we got too much food, so I might get rid of some of this mealwood. Maybe I'll get rid of this line of mealwood. Can they get down there? No. And they can't reach that. That's okay. Let's put a floor in. Now our airflow should go like... Maybe I should put bristle blossoms in here instead. Uh, we probably don't have the water for it. So for now, I'll just do a regular floor. Someone asked whether planters block airflow, and I don't think they do. If you know, leave, leave a comment, let me know. Pretty sure they don't. But I've never actually tested it. Okay, CO2 scrubber. We have no <laughs> blue water output. That water coming in is at 36 degrees. We could send this back and over to our plants. Or we could put it through a sieve and recycle it. Uh, if I use a sieve, then I need a sink for hand washing because they won't touch polluted dirt. Hmm. Where should I send it? I should probably send it up here. Yeah, let's do that. Abyssalite. We're going to run out of water, I'm pretty sure. This water has been declining. So we'll go this way. And up this way. I should do a few bridges along the way. there. Take this along here. That's not actually where our floor is going to go in the end, so maybe I'll use this floor. Sneak up here, and then we'll bridge. Force the bridge to go in like that. That's going to be a lot of water, actually. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Sure. I don't, think the, I don't think the scrubber is going to be running all the time, so that should be good. And then that'll go in there. And we're going to need more, more planters, I think. Like that. Okay, that's, uh, that's kind of working. Did I hook up that automation? Oh, it's hooked up to the pump. Uh, let's hook it up to the... Actually, 
Yeah, let's hook it up to... Actually, we don't need to hook it up to that. I should put this element sensor way up here, though. Like right here. Or maybe over here. I should open this up. That doesn't need to be like that. I'm still stuck in the water out of here. And then once that's all gone, we'll tear this down. Oh, we just stepped in germs. It seems like if they step in this polluted water, though, they're okay. Okay, I had way more plans for this episode. I want to build a... I wanted to do an oil setup. I wanted to, to do metal refining. I wanted to do plastic making. Oh, there's a gold volcano there. Uh, maybe I'll just kind of dig all this out. Get a nice oil area set up. And oh, we got some oil in here by mistake. Bring the oil up and then process it somewhere around here. I also wanted to seal off this area of the base to force the exosuit dupes to come around this way. Come along here and then we could we could dig all this out. Oh, we got three types of puffs in there. Cool. Yeah, I want to process all this slime. But I have to do some cleanup here. So I'm going to do that off camera and then I'll be back uh, just to build out slime processing and maybe oil refinery. So I kind of built out some room, or not rooms, but expansion area here. And stress has been going up. I noticed that Captain G had high stress and then super server now is high stress. So I think what I'll do is with Captain G, I limited Captain G to good food only. I'll do the same thing for super server. We'll just get them eating the best stuff, and that should help their stress out a little bit. And if this continues on, we might have to build a massage room, but there's only one dupe with high stress, so I think we're going to be okay. If we look at morale... You can see Captain G's morale is high because uh, superb meal plus 16. Uh, the showers were backed up for a bit there because the pinch peppers weren't eating the polluted water fast enough, but now they are. And that's because I disabled the CO2 scrubber for now. I'll turn that back on in a bit. And we're keeping an eye on the water level. Water level's okay so far, but it's starting to worry me a little bit. What we could do is put ice in there, but we also have this water. Maybe I'll let the dupes go in here and we could just stack a bunch of water in there. But maybe make them go in from the right instead of the left. That way they'll be in their exosuits, they'll be protected. I could take this wall out. So yeah, uh, I think I'll take this metal out. Put a, maybe an airlock in there that will conduct the heat. Speed things up here. This is still nice and cool. Yeah, okay. So that's good. Now I sealed off the top here so that the dupes can't get around. And I was thinking of putting my uh, slime processing in here. Now I've never used an ore scrubber before. I could store all the algae down here and just leave it all dirty. Or I, or I could use an ore scrubber. I think it's under utility. I never really use it because it's... I never found it that great, but maybe we'll use it here. I might need a couple of them. I gotta remove this plant, it's in the way. Get up here, dig that out. And I should probably put a couple blocks there just in case. Don't want that flooding. Probably didn't need the full ladder, but whatever. And for the ore scrubber, we're going to need chlorine, so I'll have to get into this chlorine somehow. I 
Okay, let's just check these germs out. I also need a uh, thing to actually process the slime, the algae distiller. And we're going to need power. Okay, so let's plan this out here. We've got utilities. Let's do ore scrubber. This thing kills 480,000 germs, but this slime can have more than that. But once it's processed into algae, I don't think it'll have that as many germs. But just in case, let's just build two. So, ore scrubber. This thing doesn't require power. This ladder's in the way now. We got six idle dupes. That's never good. Oh, wait. Someone without a suit got down. How did they get down here? That should be impossible. How did you get here? What happened there? How did he get around? Oh. It's because I... No, it's not because I deconstructed that. Oh, they can't even get up there. Uh, I have no idea how this dupe got here. I gotta turn this. Uh... Okay, you go over here. And turn this back on. Okay, now they're acting really weird. <laughs> what are they doing? I think they're all stuck. Okay, we're gonna move them all out of there manually. Okay, that's set to vacancy. Okay. Back to business. Uh, let's do two of them, just in case. Uh, I think right there, right there. And then we can pull the algae out of there safely and then refinement. Algae distiller. I'll probably leave a little bit of room here. We can put multiple of these. Now, do they have to wash their hands? No, because they're in suits. And we might put multiple of those in there. And I think I'm going to dig down into this chlorine here. From the top. And the pressure outside is lower, so we could get chlorine leaking out. I'm too lazy to build a water lock. So, I'm just going to do an airlock right here. And then we'll dig down, we'll put a pump in. Maybe I should go over this side. Oh, it should be fine. And we'll grab this chlorine and we'll seed it in here. Now I think once these are filled up, they don't need to be replenished. But that was a long time ago. I haven't used this building in a very long time. Let's pre-build the pipe. We're gonna have a gas pipe. I think granite's fine. That's going up here, in there. Might as well set up both. And I'm going to need power and stuff. So we're going to do a pump right here. Now hopefully we don't catch any CO2. And then gas pipe along here. We'll hold off on just connecting it just yet. Get that airlock in. And then, oh, I need a ladder down there. Okay, I'll put the ladder here. Right along here. So, like that. And hopefully we don't have chlorine squirting all over the place. I probably should have just did a liquid lock, but... Like I said, I don't want to. They're so easy to build, but... Okay, that pipe's gonna come around like this, that way. We might get CO2 in this pipe. Because it should fall out of the bottom. 
so far. No chlorine. I think it's going to squirt out, though. Yeah, we got some squirting out. Well, once this is built, we can lock that room up. It's two power. Ah, that chlorine's going to end up right here. <laughs> oh, man. What did I do here? I totally messed this up as well. This should be sealed. This was hydrogen, but I guess it's squirting out now. Oh, we got chlorine everywhere. Oh, I'll have to deal with it. <laughs> at least it's at this level. It's not too harmful right now. Okay, I'll let them finish that off and I'll be right back. Okay, so some of the dupes are just completely ignoring... Ignoring this. Yeah, look at... Oh. Yeah, some of them are running through without a suit. Maybe that's a bug. I don't know. But we need power for all this, so I'm going to do yet another coal setup. How are we doing for coal? Uh, consumable ore. We have 26 tons. We're running a bit low on power. Coal. But I'll put that right here for now. Smart battery setup. Set up power this way. Take that down. Messy, crooked wire. And automation. Ooh, priority nine. Doesn't have to be priority nine. Let's do seven. So that'll power all this, and then we can start strip mining all of this and see what's over here, see what's down here. Now, someone made a great comment. I think I already talked about it, about up here. Our puffs eggs are falling to the bottom. But it seems like there was an egg here not so long ago, a puffed egg underwater, and I think it hatched and they they floated to the top. I don't think they died, so I think it's safe. I think somehow they're surviving in there. Because otherwise it would be hard to have slime collection along with perpetual puffs in here without doing some some magic. We have so much food. Kind of ridiculous. I want to make my way through all the lice loaf. In fact, I should probably take this out. Or let's do priority one on this. We don't really care about the care about that so much. Okay, they're building this out. And when once we get power, we should should be okay. And I'm gonna skip ahead again just to let them finish this and clean up. Okay, so it's done, and these things are filled up now. I haven't seen them actually use it. I guess because we haven't dug any slime yet. Uh, but what I'm going to do... We need to have an output for this... This blue water. How much of this light? we got lots left, so we're going to send this down here. And I'm going to use it for... Check this out. Nice tunnel. I'm going to grow some more pinch of pepper nut down here. Right in this area. and Because it, it's nice and toasty in here. Because I can use granite here. Now I need the hydroponics. I'll stick here. And then three tiles of clearance and then a floor. I should probably leave some airflow. Build this over. And put our hydroponic tiles. Like this. Now I know I don't have enough. Let's do them kind of over here. I don't have enough uh, seeds, I don't think, just yet. Actually, let's take that out and I could actually do a corner build here I think oh I can't until we dig that out I think that's reachable through the they can build diagonally 
Maybe. Oh, I should lock this door. Don't want them going in there. Okay, maybe they can't reach that. Hey, they saw each other, huh? Okay, for now, I'm just gonna go like this. Oh, they should be able to dig that, and then dig there. Something like that. So all our wastewater from the algae distiller will go down there for a useful purpose. And hopefully this stays warm enough down here. Should. Yeah, should be good. We can always put heaters in. That's a waste, but... And then we can start digging the slime out. I don't know why I'm so keen to dig this out. No particular reason. I kind of just want to explore and get over to this way. I should be processing the oil. I wanted to do that this episode, but I don't think I'm going to get to it. I did hollow out this giant oil tank area. Strip mined it down. That's what I did off camera a while ago. Um, this slickster seems really broken. Oh, we got water in there. But I gotta, I'm going to build an oil pipe. It comes all the way up here. Oh yeah, this thing. I forgot to mention this. This thing is churning out a lot of polluted water. And I should actually be using it. Uh, I got some regular water mixed in there, which was kind of not good. In fact, I should put a pitch pump there so I can manually remove that fresh water off the surface. And then pump that polluted water out, and we could use it for some other things. Not sure what yet. Maybe oxygen generation? I could even stick a... Uh, could stick an electrolyzer down here. Electrolyze this. Let all the hydrogen and oxygen just float to the top. This thing's going to overflow. I need a place to dump... Dump this uh, surface clean water. But I don't want to... If I put auto bottling on here, it'll just go in an infinite loop. Hmm. I don't think I'm even using this water for anything. I'm glad I actually looked down there, because that's all going to overflow. Maybe I should dig it out some more room. There's not much room left in there. And it's and it's going off. It's actually at only at 30 degrees, so that's a ton of ton of polluted water. Liquid water available. 4,000 grams. Uh, what should I do with that? I'm going to just dump it out the side, actually. Let's do that. Uh, plumbing, bottle emptier. I'll stick it out here and just dump it straight out there. That'll work. Enable auto bottling and hopefully they just bring off the surface water. Oh, that sounds cool. It's like in stereo. Oh, I can't build that there. What am I thinking? What is winter mid been smoking? Okay, let's do that there. This is really lazy. Just dump that tiny bit of water out the side. Okay. Priority 8. Enable auto bottle. Now, I hope they don't bring the bottle. Oh, maybe I should select the liquid. I think it's safe to remove this. I was trying to get a regular water on top and... and mop it up, but that didn't work.
Okay. Back up here. Let's take some slime after all that setup. Insufficient slime. Yay. Okay, let's... Now, did I do everything right? They're gonna put it in here. It should clean it all up. Should be good. Let's take some slime. We'll do a trial tile. Set the priority of this up high. Oh, I need a deodorizer in here as well. Let's stick that right here. Don't sleep. Wake up. Rest time. I'll be back in the morning. Oh. They put it in there. Okay, slime. 300,000 germs. The algae has... Lots of germs, too. Okay, so I'm glad I built two ore scrubbers. Chlorine 10 kilograms. I just want to see if this uses up chlorine. I'll be back in a sec after they've processed a bit of the slime. Okay, there's a dupe here using the... Uh, <laughs> using the uh, horse scrubber, and it looks like it actually used a bit of the chlorine gas. So we are gonna run out of chlorine at some point from in here, if we keep cleaning that algae. And I'm building a second one here just because one is not gonna cut it. It's gonna give us a bunch of algae, and I should not, I should make it so they don't use too much of it. I kind of want to let this puff breathe this air. How's this puff doing? I think what I'll do is let the stinky air in there. I don't want to let him out. But the minute we put an airflow tile in there, he's going to be Let's do this. Let's put the airflow there through the corner and then I'll open it up. That'll make him happy. Make some slime for us. No liquid output. Oh yeah, I gotta hook up my pipe. Granite's fine. Priority nine? Sure, why not? So I'll have to make sure they only mine fast enough to keep that slime delivered. And at some point, this is going to fail. We do have a bit of chlorine we here we could use. We could go in here and open this up into here. There they go. I think it's better just to put the algae in here. Because then it won't actually use up the chlorine gas. Because if you put materials in chlorine gas in a room, and all the germs die, and you don't actually consume it. And we may or may not find a chlorine geyser, so maybe these are a bad idea. And are we killing all the germs? I forgot to check. Oh, we got a bit of slime lung in the base. How is this getting in? Oh, uh, oh, that's not good. How about an airlock? Airlock would be a good idea. Let's stick that. Let's use a fast airlock. I can power it. I can spare the power. Like so. That should be good. And I'll keep an eye on this. But we're out of time. We're at the one hour mark. I wanted to do more this episode. But next episode I'll get into the oil. That's kind of what I wanted to do this episode. But I got distracted by showers and slime and other bits. So hope you enjoyed that. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys next time.